Welcome to homework for grade one, module one. This is lesson one. Write your name first. Don't want to forget that. I might forget to do it later. Our first thing to do is circle five and then make a number bond. So on the first one, they've already done the circle for us, circling five, and then we're making the number bond. So there's the five. That's the five right here. We have one, two, three, four more dogs there. That's the four. And if you count them all together, there's nine. Circling five. That's the same five right there. There's two here, so I'm going to put two in that part. And the two parts together, when you count them all, make seven. Circling five. There's the five right there. Already done for us. Now we have another five. So I'm going to write a five there. And all of them counted together. There's 10 of them. Now we're counting paw prints. We have circling five. Now we have to write in our own five here. Five. And it doesn't matter which one, which box you put it in. You could put it in this box. You could put the five in that box. It doesn't matter as long as you don't put it in the big box because the big box is going to be all of them. Well, we're going to see in this one. What else do we have? We don't have any other paw prints to count, zero to count. So it turns out that the total really is five when you count them all. Now the bottom half of the page. Make a number bond that shows five as one part. So here's our five. That's one of the parts. I could put it there. I could put the five in either box, either of the smaller boxes. It doesn't matter which one. There's a five there. And then three is going to have to go in the other one. And if I count them all together, they make eight. Number six, here's five. I'm going to put five in that box. And then we have one here. One more. And if we count them all, they make six. So we have over and over again the smaller parts go together to make the total. Here we have our five. And it doesn't say you have to circle these, but I'm going to do it anyway just to show that that's where the five comes from. And then there's a two, two. And together, five and two, when you count them all together, five and two together make seven. And now here you've got Five is one part. There's one of the fives. It doesn't matter which one of these smaller boxes I put that five in, as long as it's just one of the parts, right? So there's, that's a part. That's one of the smaller parts. It's just two smaller boxes going to make a big box. Two smaller parts going to make a total. And here's another five. Together, five and five. Count them all, and it's ten. We'll move on to the second page. Now we're making a number bond for the dominoes. So these are pictures of dominoes. And you can see, just like dice, there's five here and three there. So there's two parts. I'll make this a five and that a three. And if I, I mean, if I want it, it really doesn't matter. I could put... I could put the 5 here and the 3 here. It wouldn't matter because we'd still have 8 if you count all the dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's still going to be 8 no matter what you do. But if you put the 5 together with the 3, you're going to get 8. Uh, number 10. There's 5 here. One more. Together they make 6. There's a five, 
just like on a dice. Five, and there's a two. We'll make that two and together seven. Now when you count these, if you don't know, maybe you already know that five plus two is seven, but if you don't, you could count these. You don't have to count them all from like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You could say that's five and then that's six and that's seven. And it's an easier way to count them. And here's five again. And there's another five. And we practiced this already from the first page, right? Because we had five and five making ten there. Right? And we had five and five making ten here. So we've done it twice on the first page already. So you might already re remember that two fives together make a ten. Just like five fingers on your left hand, five fingers on your right hand, you've got ten fingers. Circle five and count. One, two, three, four, five. So there's five. And then we have three more. So that's five, six, seven, eight. That makes eight. And here's 14. That's the next one. Circle five. One, two, three, four, five. There's five. Circling five. Five and one more. That's the one more. That makes six. And then here we have one, two, three, four, five. So here's our five, five. And then we need one, two, three, four more. And that's five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is your total. We call that counting on. And now we need one, two, three, four, five. There's our five group. five and then we have two more there's our two so that's five six seven there's seven dots all together